Christy, thank you. Gaffney police are looking for two suspects in two shootings that happened Tuesday evening. Investigators believe they could be gang related. So deputies say the shooting spree hit two neighborhoods, leaving a lot of evidence in between them. There's a lot to get through here. 7 News reporter Kimberly Brown is in Gaffney live tonight with details on the first of those shootings. Kim. Well, Gordon, Limestone Court Apartments sits right here. It's filled with families and children right across the street from a convenience store. That's where investigators say a shooting happened because of an argument, leaving one grandmother saying she's just glad to be alive. This surveillance video shows only part of a shooting that started across the street from Limestone Court's apartments. You can see one man inside the screen door trying to get into an apartment. It was a boy running from that way, running this way, telling me to open the door. I said, no, no, no. He said, open the door, let me in. I said, no, no. Moments later, he's seen running away while shooting. And if you look closely, you can see shots coming his way. That young man was trying to get into Mama Dot's apartment. She usually has a house full of grandbabies. Oh, I'm so glad. So glad they weren't here. They sit right there in front of that TV. And they sit up on the chair and play a game. Play their game. I'm so glad they weren't here. One bullet went through her front window and hit a wall right above the sofa. I just hate to even look over mm -hmm. this way. And I seen some shooting. So then when I looked again, I was like, they is shooting at each other. And I seen the dude on the side of the building. He was shooting around the building. And I was like, oh, God, that's my grandma building. And I was like, I got to go. Gaffney police say they're investigating this shooting and another drive-by shooting on Carver Drive, saying the two may be connected. <laughs> Detectives say they're looking for 22-year-old Daquan McNeil and 19-year-old Jalen Linder, both facing three felony charges of attempted murder, possession of a weapon during a crime, and aggravated breach of peace. Police Chief Chris Skinner says the public should stay alert. I think anytime you have several pe people shooting at each other, that sure, they should be concerned. I mean, people live around here. When I look at that spot, I think about it. When I look at that spot, I think about it. I said, I could have been dead. Now, investigators say they found shell casings at this convenience store right behind me. They also found shell casings right across the street. That's how that shooting happened. It took place and ended up in front of this grandmother's home right at this apartment complex. Investigators say one man is in the hospital. They're looking for another man, and they could make more arrests as they continue to investigate. Reporting live from Gaffney, Kimberly Brown, 7 News. Well, that must have been terrifying for the innocent people involved. Kimberly Brown, thank you. That second shooting happened around 11 Tuesday evening on Carver Street in Gaffney. Investigators say someone drove by, opened fire on this home. A car in the driveway still sits there with a shattered window. Deputies are investigating whether or not these two shootings are related.